Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Fickers. Once we made such an electric car out of a hoverboard and we got an idea why not make something like that, only floating one. Today we decided not just to make a floating gearboard but a whole catamaran, guys. So according to our preliminary calculations, we get the following system. Here we'll have the boats ourselves, the hoverboard itself will be fixed in the middle, and now we have a drawing in profile. There will be three wheels down on the side, a hoverboard on top. In general, everything will happen something like this. The hoverboard will turn one wheel, and this wheel in turn will turn the other, on which there will be blades, and that will move our catamaran. It would seem that everything is simple, but it may be far from simple. Guys, this is just brilliant. We wanted to make a high structure and we started to invent it all. We came up with it. Amphibious car. That is, she will swim and ride. Look, we'll have a second wheel here. See, here it's spinning. And the third wheel will be already down there. That is... There will be blades on it. Yes, it has blades and can be right in it. Remains to make only two wheels for stability in front and we have a cool car. Even we'll have such a racing car in appearance. Guys, this is just brilliant. Hope it works out. Guys, life hack. By the way, have you ever seen such a drill? It still have yet. Cool. So our sport car is ready, guys. There is a beginning. We installed the first pair of wheels. Now we'll deal with the second. This is how the movement of our entire structure will be produced. Here we'll somehow make the blades tomorrow, right? In case you didn't understand, it's upside down now. Well, yes, 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 this is our bottom and there will be a wheel right here if after all we'll make machine out of this. So we installed an intermediary wheel which will be between the wheel on which will screw the blades and the wheel of our hoverboard. Also we installed small wheels, they will now allow our hoverboard to go somewhere and they will rise it a little so that it doesn't rest against our structure. Well, let's test it for the first time. Well, I'm trying to turn it on. Write in the comments if it has enough power to spin all these wheels. This is speed, guys. If we are going to swim with such a speed, then probably I don't know with what speed we'll go. No, you should take into account that the blades will give more resistance. So what? Well, look at the speed. Oh, guys, you can launch some kind of production on tanks. So guys, this hoverboard didn't pass the test, it turned on, we took our own kind and old hoverboard, these are smaller wheels, well nothing, we have twisted these and now we'll show you how it will work. And the second one, here. You can generate electricity. The most important idea that we pursued is that due to the hoverboard we have the ability to turn. That is, our wheels are independent of each other. If we drive only with the right wheel, respectively, we turn to the right, which is not the case in a regular catamaran. Because you paddle and swim only straight, now only one thing is interesting, whether it will turn when we go overland. What won't you go for the sake of science? I had to twist the wheel off our garden wheelbarrow. Initially we planned six wheels, but now it turns out that we need eight, because we don't get an electric catamaran, but a simple all-terrain vehicle and amphibian one. Indeed, look how cool it looks. If it drives, I'll be shocked. <laughs> yes, but it looks very, very impressive. The only thing that can hinder us is the power of our hoverboard. The main thing is that it pulls it all. Guys, look what I found. I didn't know we had it. Here we'll probably take the blades from here or we'll not touch them at all. Now we'll probably take the blades from here for our wheelbarrow. <laughs> Friends, we specially bought wheels that can be disassembled and to which our blades can be screwed very well. Here, look, everything. This is the wheel. By the way, it's tubeless and therefore probably it will be better in our case. So guys, let's go to test it. We didn't calculate at all, but it fit into our trailer. Well, now Ficus also has a car. Ah! 
Guys, we'll lower the wells when we put them on so that we will assemble this whole structure, we'll pump them up and it will be very, very tight and then we'll succeed. As you understand, we'll do the first test on land. By the way, now you can clearly see what we meant in our drawings. Here are blades, which we made from a drywall profile. Here, you see, we connect it here with the wire so that if there is a pressure, to make it normal. So that it doesn't go to the side. Yes, yes. Well, it's time to start. Well, are you ready? <laughs> Whoa! That's it guys, now we can go to the lake. So guys, it's time to drive my Volkswagen into some water. What, 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 what? Here, we'll sail according to this pattern. Well, come on, come on, let's go. Wow, that's cool. Look, what a speed. <laughs> I wanna stay like this forever. I wanna stay right here with you. I wanna stay right here. Yes, our amphibian is faster in water than on land. Until it all breaks down. I didn't expect it to float it at all. And the tones just fly on the water, not just float. It's so fast, this is just something unreal. Until recently, I could not believe that these blades can do something, but they can, and how they can. I float from that bank in just four to five minutes. See how fast I'm floating back. This is speed. Are you swimming while standing? We're completely satisfied with the result and believe that the experiment was a success. I'm sure that many people have a gear board lying around at home and here is an idea of how to use it. We miss such experiments and if you liked this video, we will do something else unusual for river rafting. Subscribe to the channel in order not to miss cool experiments. Thick is an interesting world with you. Goodbye to everyone. Could have slept here for days. Blah, blah.